Hey yo, music world. My name is Ari Dash, and you're listening to Just Earworms. With me today on Just Earworms is Manish Malampati. What's up? Uh, Mal is not going to be here with us today. Uh, he's currently in a singing class. As you know, Maldiv is a renowned singer in the Telugu music community. So he's going to take his time perfecting his craft while Manish and I will tackle today's mixtape. Uh, before we move on, uh, we decided to start this podcast as a way to connect our love for music with something that we could share with our audience. And on today's podcast, uh, Manish and I are going to tackle Al Farrell. Travis Scott's first mixtape that he officially dropped under Travis Dollar Sign Scott. And it was a very, very good mixtape. A lot of people liked it. It had some like secrets in it that I'm going to vow Manish with. I don't know if it's going to be creepy secrets. It depends on what Manish thinks about them. But Manish, there are some secrets about this album that you're going to know today. Uh, before we move on, Manish has I'm been scared. coming in. Yeah, don't be, don't be. This is some Audi special. Uh, uh, so, uh, last week, Madhav was with me when we covered uh, Beatles, uh, Abbey Road. Manish, did you listen to that podcast or just the album? I'm not recently, but I have listened to the album. And like, how? What do you think about it? I mean, it's classic. Classic. <laughs> it's okay. Classic. Yeah, it's definitely a classic. Uh, it's, and it's like um, obviously classic. Yeah, and I'm thinking maybe before this podcast drops or after, we might might be doing a rapid reacts on. We're, we're going to do a rapid reacts on Rich Brian, but also rapid reacts on another Beatles album. So hopefully Manish can join me there. We'll figure out Manish's schedule. Oh, are we doing um, the Metallica? Yeah, Metallica's next week. It's a podcast. All right, all right. Yeah, so I'll, I, I, I text a lot of people. Uh, after after people saw that we covered the Beatles, people were like, oh yeah, this is something that I like. This is like a music mm-hmm. like a genre that I like. So I told them about the Metallica and people are looking forward to it. Yeah, I feel good, like good. Uh, I feel like just just off the grid here, this is not part of the podcast. Uh, as a as as like a mainly hip hop podcast, we we used to get like let's say an average 60, 50, 60 views a video, depending on it. Uh, depending on how much it was blocked in whatever nation, this is a YouTube's nonsense copyright. But but if you disregard that, we have we got like 50, 60, some videos reach 100. But most of them are hip hop fans. So even if now that we're doing these Beatles and this Metallica stuff, and we're getting 30 to 40 views, at least we know that these are 30 to 40. At least there are 20 different people who are listening to them mm-hmm. because it's like different audience. So. Yeah. That's something that I'm really happy about that we decided to. So yeah, yeah this should have definitely been on the group chat instead of the podcast. But anyway, <laughs> I ended up on the podcast. <laughs> so let's begin. Um, Al Farrell, Travis Scott, 2014 13. is what I want to say. 13, yeah. 14 was days before audio. Thanks, Kadeesh. So 2013, this is Travis Scott and... You know what? I'll just ask Manish straight up. Um, I know Manish is a big Houston Rockets fan. Travis, Ga- uh, Travis Scott is a big Houston guy. Manish, what do you think about this debut mi- mixtape? Like, as a debut mixtape, it's, like, yeah. quite good. Yeah, it's sure. Quite. It's not, like, like, very good. Yeah. But I'd say it's, like, as a debut, it's, like, yeah good like it's like quite good exactly and uh and i mean he, a lot of good features too like yeah it stood up with the features and for someone someone to debut mix safe to have wale meek mill uh two chains ti mm-hmm. um and the best feature toro e moi i have no clue toro e two moi. Are. moi oh i see are they french french people i don't know uh, okay <laughs> That I I said Moi because I thought they were I Asian. think but it's one dude. Oh. Is it one I guy? think it's one dude. Yeah, it's oh, one okay. dude. My, see my this is where Spanish is like the E. I thought it was <laughs> and so yeah. Can't blame no. me there. You got you got to blame for Artron for that one. Yeah. And uh, so yeah, and Paul Wall and Theo Phyllis London. That was a hard name to pronounce. So the features were definitely there. It was a mm-hmm. 
it was a very like I think it was a good album. Like thirteen songs again, perfect. Like you don't want a hip hop album to have more than fifteen, and the fewer the better. So ten to fifteen is like perfect sweet spot. He hit the thirteen. Um, that was very good. Another thing that I think that stood out about the album was. Even though I'd I, like, I don't know if you would agree. I think the rapping isn't as good, but I think the production, like, for, like we nowadays attribute Travis Scott to have some of the best production. So mm-hmm. you could see that from the beginning. Like the production yeah. is definitely there. Mm-hmm. Like m- I think the rapping has definitely improved over the last four, uh, three studio albums and two mixtapes. But this was definitely like mm-hmm. really good. Uh, the production was amazing. Definitely. Um. And this uh, review and this podcast comes in a great time after Travis released his McDonald's, uh, McDonald's. I guess I don't know what you want to call it. Uh, it's just a quarter pounder. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. But the quarter pounder. But yeah, exactly. I don't know what's special about it. Yeah, me but, but the clothing line. I mean, that's different. It's, like post- it's expensive as shit, yeah, though. It's, it's oh, like oh my forty-eight God. bucks for a T-shirt. Yeah, wait. <laughs> <laughs> and that's not Wait, including a, tax or shipping. Or shipping. And p- I think a pillow is ninety dollars. Yeah. Or seventy-five. Like, Wait, that pillow is fire though. That yeah, pillow is it, it fire. Is, it's a fire pillow. But I, I just feel like there's something very offsetting about that chicken. I mean, it is a fire pillow, but that's like imagine putting your it's head on bad. a nugget. Yeah. Imagine putting your head on a nugget. But it's offsetting. I don't know why. I just, I, I don't. <laughs> I mean, if I, I had ninety dollars to blow, I'd blow it on that. I would blow on that. Sure, yeah, I would blow it on that. But, but when you look at it, I love a McDonald's chicken nugget. But you know, a McDonald's chicken nugget is probably ten percent chicken and ninety percent nonsense. So putting your head on that's not something that's that's hundred percent cotton will make you think. What if McDonald's chicken nuggets? Are ninety percent cotton and ten percent chicken. And <laughs> <laughs> uh, that right there. My host is, is brain dead. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm telling you, that right there is what. What was that show? Uh, what was that debunking show? The myth debunking. We watch it in middle school. Myth, that right there is a Mythbusters worthy video. <laughs> they should definitely send me sponsorship rights for that. Is a McNugget 90% cotton? <laughs> Busted. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is, this is a big opportunity here. So, like, the fashion line, what do you think about it? I mean, I thought it was good. It's expensive, but good. It's I think it's definitely something like a Post Malone croc collaboration mm-hmm. and now i don't think the, all of it's good yeah some of it is outrageous like the, quite questionable some of it's yeah, quite yeah. questionable but so like there's a some of it's like good yeah like there's a, that uh what is that uh like the it looks like farmer's pants those jeans that have like the, <laughs> no, they, those are so bad <laughs> those are horrible. Why would the shorts yeah oh my god those are horrible too there's like a huge mcdonald's patch on some like gear holy you know, we're talking the about like, though, yeah, the, the ones, ones with the fries. Oh yeah, those are, those nice. are the fries. Ones are nice. Yeah. yeah. In fact, even the ad, it was on NBA, on uh, uh, the NBA games for not putting those ads, the McDonald's ads. Honestly, the ad is quite fire. Yeah. Yeah. Even <laughs> though I'm not a big barbecue sauce fan, ad's quite fire. Dude, hey, that's, how do that's, you like the... buffalo sauce, bro? It's like, <laughs> so bad. No, no, no. You know, I just, I went to um. What was that place called? Um, Starbird Chicken. Oh, we need to go there when you're back. Starbird Chicken has the has one of the best buffalo sauces. Like, that was fire. I need to get a bonchon when I get back. Oh, but, yo, yo, you want to go? I'm down. Bonchon's fire. Bonchon's fire, dude. I need bonchon's to hit amazing. Him. 30 wings from Bonchon. <laughs> and they're huge wings. They're huge wings. The last is the entire day. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I think two other people, like, I think Ankit and Shivan would probably go. Why would Ankit be there? <laughs> He'd probably be like, Ankit... <laughs> yeah, probably, yeah, true, true. <laughs> I think we need to, 
Madhav censor this one out. <laughs> I hope he doesn't hear this. Uh, you never know what kind of concoction he'll be making up once he's back. I think the proper term is cocktail. Yeah, cocktail. Maybe a nice special Utah bus trip cocktail. I think every all of this has to be censored out. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, this is yeah, why we so, need Madhav to keep us in line. Yeah, I think this is why we need Madhav. Uh, so going back to Al Farrell. Finally going back to Al Farrell. Um, never at Al Farrell. We were never there, yes. But let's begin Al Farrell. Um, it's, uh, like you said, great mixtape. <laughs> great production, great mixtape. Um, what do you think was the best song from the album, according to you? Like, let me ask for that too. I think so. Like, obviously, like there wasn't a lot of like vibey stuff on this. It was mostly like bangers. Right. And I think out of the bangers, Upper Echelon is my favorite. Oh yeah, yeah. He released like, a single too. It was amazing. Yeah, it was like yeah. it was good. But if like we're not counting the single, I'd say yeah. bands. Was Bands a single? No, I don't think so. Yeah, it wasn't. Bands so yeah, I'd say Bands. Yeah. Because um, Meek Mill verse was fire. Yeah, it was heat. Yeah, for sure. Uh, and not only that, I feel like, like you said, there's a lot of bangers. But honestly, the my favorite song on the album was probably not the banger song. Like, Hell of a Night. Uh, that, that's a bob. Mm-hmm. And here's one fun fact for you. We're beginning off this fun fact. Uh, Hell of a Night is Kylie Jenner's favorite Travis Scott song. <laughs> and you know, I am a huge Kylie fan. I know people uh, hate her. It's fine right now. Not the best time to be a great <laughs> fan. But I follow her on Instagram. And that's it. That's my fan. Blessed. Your feed's blessed. <laughs> yeah, that, exactly. I'm t- you know, I've, sh- I've so- shown you so many so dude, many don't people even show me, dude. Like people can say what they want, but yeah, it speaks for itself. Yeah, <laughs> and and right now we're talking about the pictures of her baby. Everyone who's listening who thinks we're talking about something else, something's wrong with you guys. <laughs> we are amazing. We're very very cultured men. We don't talk about. I think we should censor this baby. out too. <laughs> this should be censored as well. Uh, so yeah. And I think a good way to censor some of our talking is to play a song from the album. So let's listen to bands featuring me. Man, I'm in the streets, it's been a long day. About to sign this deal and throw it all away. About to cop the crib that they ain't lost the date. Funny, blicking them niggas that slipping. You tripping, no fear, my niggas get it. I'm looking down at. Like you said, the Meek Mill verse is fire. It was the beginning of the Meek Mill verse. I think Meek Mill definitely delivered. Did you say worse? Uh-huh. Worse. I can't pronounce these. It's a problem. We're on the 25th podcast. I think it's all known now. I can't say it. W's and V's, I'm telling you, bro. Something's wrong with those two letters. Fodder. Water, wavy water. Um, <laughs> wavy. So Meek Mill, wavy. Meek Mill definitely <laughs> came through. Meek Mill definitely came through. I think it was definitely a great. I don't, honestly, Quintana, not a bad. Quintana is also good. It's good, but Bands was definitely like like you said, last song in the mixtape was a very good song as well, and I think the I'm not a big Meek Mill fan, so. That was a that was like good. Like I don't like Meek Mill that much, but that was good. So that was good. Yeah. Yeah. So that I I like I guess you I don't like Meek Mill. Why? Not the biggest fan. I feel like. Uh, Bro, he's got bangers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I think I will listen to the great songs, but I think the great songs are much fewer than the songs that I don't like. Like there are good songs on those albums, but there's some songs that. Uh, like, I guess, like, okay, let's put, like, putting it this way, like, there are, like, probably three songs, like, uh, in average per album that I like, and then 
but then I would never go back to an album and listen to it. Gotcha. Like there are some good songs, but so he's just also, like I, there, kind yeah, exactly. of, kind of. Yeah, and if I'm not wrong, I feel like it. Meek Mill is less rapping and more motivational talking. Like that's what it sounds like. I'm talking. He's not technically rapping. He's just talking. Like that's one of the reasons why I don't like the baby because mm. it's just a bunch of talking. Like it's fast talking. It's not rapping. <laughs> fast talking. That's my that's my logic as to why I don't. I like see. It. Yeah, but I I think he's a hell of an artist. And yeah, they both have their moments. That's what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, they can be good. Yeah. But, but like, overall, for the most yeah. part, they're you don't. Average. Yeah, there's yeah. average. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. got it. Like, they're, the hits are far and few. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Makes uh, sense. That's what I think. Yeah. But hell of an artist. <laughs> this next song is a hell of a song because it's Hell of a Night featured <laughs> by Travis Scott. <laughs> I first kissed in the living room That's a hell of a way to end the night A hell of a way to end the night We did drugs in the bedroom That's a hell of a way to end the night A hell of a way to end the night But she caught me fucking in the bathroom Rubbers all over the back. Manish and I are dying laughing. This is definitely, definitely a great song. Like, Hell of a Night, great, great song. And I think the best part about it is, imagine this. Once you're back, Manish, no, end of November, the sun sets at 6. I'm pretty sure we'll be out after 6 o'clock, right? <laughs> we'll be out after 6. Imagine driving down a empty street listening to Hell of a Night. Why would street be empty inside? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it's not. But that's not the point. The point is, we're listening to Hell of a Night and Hell of a Song, as I like to say, Hell of a Song. <laughs> I think we need a timeout. Holy God. <laughs> and you know what I just realized? Um, I was looking at the song uh, track list, and uh, the second song is a bad mood uh, slash uh, <laughs> shit on you. Yeah. And that reminded Dude, wait, me. Wait, like, when I first heard shit on you, and like yeah. also to this day, I don't yeah. get it. <laughs> I don't get it either. I, I don't understand what's happening. That's why that's that's the worst song on the album. And no, they, uh, my least favorite is Am I. Yeah, but I every time now now every time I look at shit on you, it just reminds me of OBJ. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Arvind, it does. I don't. I know think why. like the lyrics wise, it's shit on you. <laughs> 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 but like as a whole song, it's MIA because I just lost interest in the middle. <laughs> Uh, like you so just saying who... MIA, I just lost it. Just... <laughs> so for anyone listening to the podcast, and if you want to go and listen to Al Faro, definitely Bad Moon and MIA are two songs that you don't want to listen no, to. No, no, no. You have to listen to them to experience it. <laughs> I hate... Experience the pain. The pain yeah. that it. Like, yeah, okay. And who knows? They might actually like it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I doubt it. I don't think anyone's gonna like that. <laughs> hey, it's on, it's on the mixtape. He liked it. But, yeah, but I mean, he also Travis put a ninety dollar sign. He put a ninety dollar uh, chicken nugget pillow, so I'm pretty sure That's he liked fire, it. Fire though. Yeah, but then he also it's put farmer's than, pants. It's better than shit on. Like, and put, would you pay ninety dollars? Like, if I was to pay $90 and buy the nugget or pay or like be paid 90 to listen to shit on you a hundred times, <laughs> I'd easily pay the 90. <laughs> no, but I, but I would take the 90 because after 100 times, I'm going to use that 90 to maybe buy a Hakeem Olajuwon jersey or a. See, no, I'd, I'd rather not waste my time. <laughs> 
Dude, dude, that mood shit on you is five minutes. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Dude, five hundred minutes. Five hundred eighteen. That's yeah. Okay, never mind. Horrible idea. Never mind. Um, it's five minutes and eighteen seconds. So you take eighteen seconds. You multiply that by one hundred. How much was that? One thousand eight hundred. One thousand eight hundred divided by sixty. It's another thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. Holy! I'm not listening. No, no, that's not happening. Just on the eighteen seconds. Yeah, five. Oh, that's too much. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess that's a hard pass. Yeah, that, that's uh, that's a thing for me. Yeah, definitely. Um, so I mean, we talked about like some of the uh, good songs that we think are pretty good from the album. Uh. Uh, Hell of a Night band. Um, what do you think about uh, Drive featuring James Fontaine? Dude, Fontaine, dude, that his his vocals his were nice. Yeah, it was nice. His yeah. vocals were nice. Yeah, it was definitely think, like a great song to listen to after MIA. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I guess MIA made it much better. Like honestly, this song. And there's some, this James guy has been on like other people's like albums too. Like I think he was on one of Logic's albums. Like if I'm, if I remember correctly, he was I think in Everybody. Travis? No, no, no. James Fontelroy. You're kidding. No, I don't think he was. I think I think he was, or he might be in someone else's album. But he was there. Like I remember listening to something by James Fontelroy, and that guy has amazing vocals like there's yeah that dude's voice is so smoothing like soothing oh he was on sorry he was on born sinner and he was also on uh how much a dollar cost so mm-hmm. those are the two songs that he was on so his vo- his voice is definitely amazing like that's like he's a good he's very good very talented yeah. so that was definitely something that was a really good song and Here's a drive featuring James Fontelroy. I'm clearly gonna stop doing my transitions into songs. Doesn't work really well. So here's a drive. Sometimes I drive while I'm staring in your eyes with my hands behind your head while you take me. Whether I'm shining all winter or chilling all summer, we rockin' furs look like we copin' straight out the jungle. Used to spin cheese up on the really good as well. Mm-hmm. That's production one thing standard. for a debut mixtape. The production's like album yeah. quality. Album quality, exactly. And or like debut album quality. Definitely, and he and honestly, you could have. There's like a lot of like, uh, I guess you could say there's like a lot of a lot of times that mixtapes like have a lot of. Uh, samples that don't get clear mm-hmm. but honestly like some like i know there are samples that probably don't get clear from this this mixtape either but i know there are some beats that travis produced himself and he like innovated them and that's probably why it like stands out even more mm-hmm. yeah that's um true. so that we talked about the best songs talked about the worst songs i mean the worst songs are pretty obvious so i just um, want to shit on you <laughs> Uh, OBJ alert. Um, and um, hey, I mean, oh, talking about OBJ, NFL football started today. Uh, we are in a fantasy league, and um, uh, Manish's team, Manish and Shresh, the Jungle Book, they're <laughs> projected. Oh, you know what I realized? The Manish and uh, Shresh are projected third right now. Mm-hmm. Mahalo is projected second, and I'm projected first. Yo, so just just earworms earworm. take over. Yeah, really dominating the top three there. Uh, did you watch the Chiefs game today? No. No? But yeah, I heard it was, it was a, a blowout. Uh, yeah, it was a blowout in the beginning. I mean, I didn't watch. I was just following the scores. 31-7, and then it ended up becoming 31-20, but pretty much a blowout. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 34-20. So, um, but definitely something, I guess, it was a good, I guess, uh, good start to the NFL season. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's what I heard. Uh, and definitely, I think when Sunday comes around, and I know um, Manish is a big, big... What are you a fan of now? Broncos? Bucks? The Baltimore Ravens. Ah, the Ravens. 
So, Mitch is a big Ravens fan. I think he'll definitely be watching. I, you know, they're playing Cleveland, and you're oh, in Cincinnati. So I am. Why aren't you a Bengals fan? <laughs> you really ask me that question? Wait, I mean, they're a young, up and coming team. I have the running back. Yeah, well, in they fact, haven't you... come anywhere yet. <laughs> so <laughs> until that happens, I uh, think I'll hold off. Wow. I see. I see. But uh, Ravens, great pick. Uh, Manish is going to support the Ravens this Sunday. Once this podcast drops, hopefully it's a good day for you, Manish. Um, and we should talk some trades. I really want one of your QBs, so let's Dak? discuss some trades. I, don't, I bet you want Dak or Josh Allen, right? Yeah, you took both of them on the draft. I, I, I believe in Daniel Jones, so we'll see what happens. We'll yeah. believe, we'll I see saw your happens. team. Your, your quarterbacks are slightly lacking. I, I mean, they're lacking in the sense that any, any quarterback can technically put up 25 points. Technically. Right? Yeah, I mean, I, I think Matt, Matt Ryan's a great quarterback. He always finishes top 10. And Daniel Jones is going to be this year's breakout candidate. But all I'm proud of I mean, of you're is, kind of banking on that. I mean, that, yeah, but that's the only thing I'm banking on. Because after that, all my skill players are just amazing. That's true. I mean, Your running backs are quite saucy. Yeah, my I I like ESPN put out new projections. I have three of the top eight nine running backs. So, I mean, yeah. I just I I have loads of running back. Honestly, if someone wants a running back, I'm willing to trade. But I have loads and loads of running backs. Yeah, our team is just. <laughs> Your team's too good. Your team's all around really good. Yeah, That's the best part about you. I think we drafted. We don't. We didn't know what we drafted, but it turned out good. <laughs> but it turned out well. It turned out well. Uh, so yeah. guard I don't know why he's on the team. Uh, hey, hey, nice mustache though. Nice mustache. He has a fire mustache. He does. He does. Um, and the, I think there's another song that I was thinking about listening. Upper Echelon featuring Ti and Two Chain. Mm-hmm. Um. So here's Upper Echelon. The the chorus or the part where they do the uh, upper echelon like that the the main part of the song that part's fire like that <sighs> definitely like if that was played in Hoko or JP like that mm-hmm. would really like that's a that's a bumper that's yeah, a dumper a dumper yeah. <laughs> it's a dumper it's a definite dumper uh so yeah I guess I think do you want to add anything about the album do you want to rate it yeah why not I think it's fair to rate it uh. A mixtape wise, I would say it's uh, you know what? Let's make it creative. I would say it's seventy two dollars out of the ninety dollar chicken nugget. <laughs> <laughs> I would say it is sixty eight dollars. Sixty eight. Out of the ninety dollar chicken nugget. You know, I see. I see. So you're you're going around like seven point six, seven point seven out of ten. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I was gonna go seven, but then I sixty three doesn't sound like a really nice number to say out loud, so I just said yeah. seventy two. But yeah. Uh, but I guess I mean it was a really good. I I think you would agree it was a great mixtape. Like honestly, mm-hmm. if someone wants to go listen to it, definitely this is something that you should go listen to. Um. It the is like are amazing. If you listen to like Astro World and that was your intro right. to Travis, like right. this is definitely going to be like very interesting. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but at the same time, I feel like people who go do go listen to a mixtape, you have to like I guess adjust your expectations because this is a mixtape, mm-hmm. isn't an album. So, I mean, That's you true. won't get an Astro World or like even a Rodeo, mm-hmm. and also. Like honestly, at this point, I feel like uh, uh, "Birds in the Trap" sing McKnight is underrated because of how many people, how much people just talk about Rodeo and Astro World that they tend to forget that album. Birds but, in the Trap, 
it's amazing. It's yeah. good. It's Quite good. good. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, if you if you are going from that to this, of course, there'll be like a reality check. But mm-hmm. also, like, this was three years before any of the other albums came out. So, yeah. I guess just just moderately temper your expectations. Mm-hmm. This is. It, this is this is what led to the creative genius that puts out ninety dollars worth of <laughs> chicken nugget pillows. This album right here, mixtape. So definitely something you should uh, keep on the keep in your mind. But it's a great mixtape. Like honestly, a debut mixtape for like we have heard Logic, um, J Cole, uh, Kendrick Lamar EP, uh, Jay Z, Kanye, like uh, Frank Ocean. Like every mixtape you have heard. This is honestly, it stacks up. It like stands up to them. And like, it's a great mixtape. So definitely, definitely a good Travis Scott mixtape and a great album. So I think, I think that's what our review is. I know this review had a lot of fantasy football. A lot it of had a lot of nonsense. Talk. It had a lot yeah, of Yeah, and a lot of laughing. But I think it was, that was the best part about it. Finally got to catch up with Manish. Um, so that was pretty good. We should definitely call them sometime yeah. this weekend. We I'm haven't down. done it in a while. Yeah, we haven't. Yeah. No, but that's also because to. of uh, Purdue's <laughs> insane uh, repertoire on the uh, on our FaceTime chat. But we'll, we'll do it. I think we'll definitely do it. Um, and next time, or I'll just call you. You never know. I might Tell surprise you. call you one day. Tell you. Just call me. You already know. I'll call you. And I can't wait for you to come back. Two more months. Doesn't seem too bad now. Mm-hmm. Now that we How long has it been? Three weeks since you've been there? Yeah, about three, three and a half weeks. So I mean, honestly, if if it's ten more weeks without the love of my life, I'll do it. <laughs> Fight through it. It's gonna happen. At uh, dry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hopefully, she doesn't get to the thirty-second minute of this podcast. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep my hopes up. She high. definitely won't. Uh, <laughs> I don't think she will. Uh, it's Travis. She doesn't listen to it. Um, and. Before we go, we have some rapid reacts that probably already came out while you're listening to it or going to come out. Um, Rubber Soul by The Beatles, 1999 by Rich Brian. There were two rapid reacts. Some other albums planned, the Metallica that I mentioned, and another throwback, won't spoil that. And we're also, gonna, at the end of the month, planning on looking back at KOD. Just How going back. It? I mean, J. Cole might drop the fall off pretty soon, so it's the right time to go back. And Gotta do it. So, yeah. That's the plan. I hope you enjoyed the podcast. I had a lot of fun with Manish. I mean, Manish is a great guy. Love the shirt, Manish. Thank um, you. It was a really good podcast. Really, a lot of fun. Uh, please like and subscribe, and please tell your friends. This is the first time I'm doing this, but tell your friends about our podcast. Just trying to, I guess, increase our reach. Um, and on top of that, check out our Instagram page. We have a lot of nice content on there that people like, and that's where all I the think a lot of people, reacts are. Yeah, the rapid reacts that we keep talking about, and also nowadays it's not only the rap part of rapid reacts. We're trying to diversify. We did CTV three by Jaden Smith, which Manish and Madhav did. They did a great job. I listened to that. Amazing, and we're trying to diversify our music range. So go check that out. I think you guys will definitely enjoy it. And yeah, and Manish, I hope you get a good night rest before tomorrow's classes. Uh, it's only 12.30. I don't have class tomorrow. Oh, I why? mean, I do, but it's all asynchronous. Yeah. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, Actually, so do you have any plans? It's not, but I still want to go. Oh, you don't want to go. Because ah, it's see, like, that's, attendance that's isn't mandatory. Oh, I see. See, that's the freedom of college right there. So exactly. you're probably going to play some spike ball, table tennis tomorrow? No, I'm just going to wake up at like 3 p.m. <laughs> I, that's great. Honestly, I, I don't even blame you. I would probably do that too. Dude, you it's need, a man so needs nice. to sleep. <laughs> like I, I've been waking up at like two, three p.m. the past like a week, and then today, yeah. like last night, I slept at nine thirty p.m. and woke up at seven a.m. and it felt Holy. so weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but God. that's like that's like. Yeah, like that's junior that's year, Vista, That's when I slept. Exactly, it felt yeah. so weird. 
<laughs> Wait, and uh, you also, I mean, are your roommates and you guys doing something like going to restaurants and stuff? I think this weekend we we were we're gonna go like go out, but yeah, yeah, we go out like on weekends. At least we try to, I but see. weekdays and we're just too dead to do that. Our yeah, classes, definitely. a lot they of work. They us. Like They're not. It's yeah. so boring. <laughs> <laughs> Because it's not even like because they're hard. It's because they're right. easy. <laughs> <laughs> they're easy and long. They're easy and long. Yeah, That's the worst part. You yeah. meet people, like Mona Vista prepares you <laughs> too well. <laughs> yeah, too well for exactly. Yeah. <laughs> like there are these people like yeah. <laughs> like they say they took AP Bio. Yeah. Right. right? And like yeah. it, AP Bio is a standardized class across the country. So right. all of us are supposed to learn the same thing. Same, yeah. Then you go to class with them, <laughs> and then you realize, like, how? <laughs> <laughs> you, they, like, hold a micro pipette, and then, yeah. like, he's, like, taking off the thing with his hands. Yeah, yeah. And, like, oh. <laughs> like, the tip. He's taking it off with his yeah, hands, tip. like, for the gel electrophoresis. Even there, isn't there a button on the top that you just exactly. click? Yeah, oh god, okay. Like yeah. for the you know for the gel electrophoresis. Yeah, electrophoresis, right? yeah. Instead of like injecting it into the gel, he like just drops it on it. <laughs> like, what are you uh, thinking? You you did this already. <laughs> uh, yeah. This is what happens when you go A lot of characters. A lot of yeah. I can see it already. I'm hoping I'm once and you're talking about college once you see start, which is now looks like never. When that happens, I'll finally get to at least be in a class. Be so characters. hopefully this is a, yeah. hopefully I'll have no, a similar 1, story. A thousand percent, dude. Like yeah. the major I'm in here is supposed right. to be like one of the like selective majors here, like one yeah, of yeah. the selective majors here. And like there are people I meet in this major. <laughs> like how did you get in? <laughs> Only a hundred people got selected. I don't get how did you get in? <laughs> uh, hey, at least the good thing is you are standing out above and beyond anything and everything. <laughs> anything. <laughs> uh, but I mean, I, I guess, I guess the best part of you are always a great student. So. <laughs> That's it. Hey, I, okay, okay. Great what did you just say? In the sense that you had you you were a good student. It's just that Mona Vista was. Uh, <laughs> we'll just say that. We'll just put not, it out. I, I was not a great student. <laughs> uh, you you give yourself less credit then, but you know, dude, I dude, believe dude, in you. Dude, dude. <laughs> Senior year, <laughs> I was not a great student. <laughs> And no one was senior. No, I mean, no, no, I that's know. it's not true. Uh, well, it's okay. Yeah, I, I okay, believe senior you. year, I'd consider a great student to be like someone that like doesn't try, but still yeah. like gets by. Does well. Yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> I, I didn't yeah, try, <laughs> but like I almost deliberately failed. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was not a good student. Uh, I mean, like uh, I, I know stats? this for a fact. <laughs> oh, God, stats, does not get started. I know this for a fact. If I go down the do uh, the medical field, which I'm probably going to, and hopefully I do neuro, if my kids need a, uh, need a doctor in your stream ever, whatever stream you decide to go down, and I know you want to do uh, pediatrics, anything, I'm going to send my kids to you. That's a <laughs> guaranteed. You will be getting it's my, my kids. honor. No, yeah, Uncle Manish will be the one giving them their injections. <laughs> Uncle Manish. Dude, the nurses give the injections. No, this is a special hospital. You do all the work, Uncle Manish. You will be the one giving it. I do all the work, you say. All the work. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah. So, again, like, share, subscribe, Facebook, oh, like Instagram, you remember everything. I remember. Uh, and go give this a uh, mixtape a listen. And I hope you enjoyed this podcast. Manish, as usual, 
greatest strawberry shake milkshake. I don't even know what I was going to ask. Greatest strawberry shake drinker of the world. Actually tied with me. So we share the throne there. Always going to get a strawberry shake milkshake. Love you, buddy. Have a great rest of the night. And anyone listening to the podcast, I hope you had a great time. And until next time on Just Your Work, peace.